Hello and welcome to UTS Library's video on using metrics for academic impact. Academic impact refers to the impact your research has had in your field. Metrics are how this impact can be measured. They are often quoted to support grant applications or promotions. In this video, we will introduce you to what metrics are, how they can be used, and what kinds of tools are used to find them. What are metrics and why are they important? Metrics are indicators for how impactful your research outputs are. Numbers of papers published, citations, views, these are all examples and they can provide information about your track record and how your research has been used. There are many metrics which exist, however, it's important to be aware of their limitations. Some metrics relate to quantity of research and others relate to quality. Some metrics will standardize scores to account for different research practices in each discipline, while others won't. Using just one metric often does not provide the full picture of your research publication's performance, so best practice is to use more than one. Three metrics that are commonly used in combination are the H-index, field-weighted citation impact, and source normalized impact per paper, or SNP. We will unpack these metrics and explain what they mean. H-index is one of the most popular metrics. It can be used to measure the impact and quality of a researcher's output. For example, Jane's H-index of four indicates she has published four papers which have been cited at least four times or more. If a researcher hasn't published a high number of articles or their articles have a low citation count, then their H-index would be low. This metric is not field normalized, so it doesn't account for differences in how different disciplines publish, and therefore wouldn't be used to benchmark researchers across different research areas or career stages. Some metrics like FWCI and SNP take into account the differences in research behavior and allow comparison across disciplines. Field weighted citation impact indicates how the number of citations received by an article compares to the average or expected number of citations received by other similar publications. For example, a FWCI of one would mean that the researchers' outputs meet the global average of citations in their field. More than one would mean their output is higher than the global average. For example, Jane's FWCI of 2.2 means that her article has been cited 120% more than the average in her field. FWCI can be calculated for an individual article or for a researcher. Because this metric does not depend on career length or publication numbers, it can be a useful way of showing research impact for early career researchers. SNP stands for Source Normalized Impact Per Paper. It measures the impact of a journal in its field and it's field normalized, which allows you to compare journals across different disciplines. In this example, Jane has eight articles published in the top 25% of journals as ranked by SNP. Metrics can be used in combination to make a strong statement about the impact of your research activities. These are just a selection of metrics which can be used. Each metric by themselves does not provide much information, but used in combination can form a clearer picture of research impact. Depending on what metrics you would like to track, a selection of tools can be used. The H-index can be found in Scopus, Web of Science, or Google Scholar. FWCI and SNP can be found in Scopus and SciVal. A comprehensive list of metrics that are available as well as the tools to locate them can be found on the library website. In this video, we covered what metrics are, how they can be used, and some of the tools which can be used to locate them. For more information, visit the library website. If you have any questions, contact us using the Ask a Librarian link on the library homepage.